Parashat Behar, First Aliyah. God spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai. Speak to the Israelite people and say to them, when you enter the land that I assign to you, the land shall observe a Sabbath of God. Six years you may sow your field, and six years you may prune your vineyard and gather in the yield. But in the seventh year, the land shall have a Sabbath of complete rest, a Sabbath of God. You shall not sow your field or prune your vineyard. You shall not reap the aftergrowth of your harvest or gather the grapes of your untrimmed vines. It shall be a year of complete rest for the land. But you may eat whatever the land during its Sabbath will produce. You, your male and female slaves, the hired and bound laborers who live with you, and your cattle and the beasts in your land may eat all its yield. You shall count off seven <clears throat> weeks of years, seven times seven years, so that the period of seven weeks of years gives you a total of 49 years. Then you shall sound the horn loud in the seventh month, on the 10th day of the month, the day of atonement. You shall have the horn sounded throughout your land, and you shall hallow the 50th year. You shall proclaim release throughout the land for all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. Each of you shall return to your holding, and each of you shall return to your family. That 50th year shall be a jubilee for you. You shall not sow, neither shall you reap the aftergrowth or harvest the untrimmed vines, for it is a jubilee. It shall be holy to you. You may only eat the growth direct from the field. In this year of jubilee, each of you shall return to your holding. Second, when you sell property to your neighbor or buy any from your neighbor, you shall not wrong one another. In buying from your neighbor, you shall deduct only for the number of years since the jubilee. And in selling to you, that person shall charge you only for the remaining crop years. The, much, the more such years, the higher the price you pay. The fewer such years, the lower the price. For what is being sold to you is a number of harvests. Do not wrong one another, but fear your God, for I, Hashem, am your God. You shall observe my laws and faithfully keep my rules, that you may live upon the land in security. Third, third Halio. The land shall heal its fruit, and you shall eat your fill, and you shall live upon it in security. And should you ask, what are we to eat in the seventh year, if we may neither sow nor gather in our crops? I will ordain my blessing for you in the sixth year, so that it shall heal a crop, a crop sufficient for three years. When you sow in the eighth year, you will still be eating all grain of that crop. You will be eating the oil until the ninth year, until the crop comes in. But the land must not be sold beyond reclaim, for the land is mine. You are but stranger resident with me throughout the land that you hold. You must provide for the redemption of the land. Fourth Aliyah. If one of your kin is in straits and has to sell part of a holding, the nearest redeemer shall come and redeem what that relative has sold. If any party has no one to be redeemer but prospers and acquires enough to redeem with, the years since its sale shall be computed and the difference shall be refunded to the party to whom it was sold so that the person returns to that holding. If that person lacks sufficient means to recover it, what was sold shall remain with the purchaser until the jubilee. In the jubilee year, it shall be released so that the person returns to that holding. Fifth, if any party sells a dwelling house in a walled city, it may be redeemed until a year has elapsed since its sale. The redemption period shall be a year. If it is not redeemed before a full year has elapsed, 
the house in the walled city shall pass to the purchaser beyond reclaim throughout the ages. It shall not be released in the Jubilee. But houses and villages that have no encircling walls shall be classed as open country. They may be redeemed, and they shall be released through the Jubilee. As for the cities of the Levi, the houses in the cities, in the cities it holds, Levi shall forever have the right of redemption. Such property as may be redeemed from Levi, houses sold in the city it holds, shall be released through the Jubilee. For the houses in the cities of Levi are its holding among the Israelites. But the unenclosed land about its cities cannot be sold, for that is its holding for all time. If your kin, being the straits, come under your authority and are held by you as the resident aliens, let them live by your side. Do not exact advance or accrued interest, but fear your God. Let your kin live by your side as such. Do not lend your money at advanced interest, nor give your food at accrued interest. I, Hashem, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan to be your God. Six, Alia. If your kin under you continue in streets and must be given over to you, do not subject them to the treatment of a slave. Remaining with you as an hired or bound laborer, they shall serve with you until only until the jubilee here. Then they, along with any children, shall be free of your authority. They shall go back to their family and return to the ancestral holding, for they are my servants whom I freed from the land of Egypt. They may not give themselves over into servitude. You shall not rule over them ruthlessly. You shall fear your God. Such male and female slave as you may have, it is from the nation round about you that you may acquire male and female slave. You may also buy them from among the children of aliens, resident among you, or from their families that are among you whom they begot in your land. These shall become your property. You may keep them as a possession for your children after you, for them to inherit as property for all time. Such you may treat a slave, but as for your Israelite kin, no one shall rule ruthlessly over another. Seventh Aliyah. If a resident alien among you is prospered and your kin, being in straits, comes under that one's authority and is given over to the resident alien among you or to an offshoot of an alien's family, your kin shall have the right of redemption even after having been given over. Typically, a brother shall do the redeeming or an uncle or an uncle's son shall do the redeeming. Anyone in the family who is of the same flesh shall do the redeeming, or having prospered, your formerly impoverished kin may do the redeeming. The total should be computed with a purchaser as from the year of being given over to the other until the Jubilee year. The price of sale shall be applied to the number of years as though it were for a term as a hired laborer under the other's authority. If many years remain, your kin shall pay back for the redemption in proportion to the purchase price. And if few years remain until the Jubilee year, so shall it be computed. Payment shall be made for the redemption according to the years involved. One shall be under the other's authority as a labored hire hired by the year, the other shall not rule ruthlessly in your sight. If not redeemed in any of those ways, that person, along with any children, shall go free in the Jubilee year. For it is to me that the Israelites are servants. They are my servants, whom I freed from the land of Egypt. I, your God, you shall not make idols for yourself, or set up yourselves carved images or pillars, or place figure stones in your land to worship upon, for I, Adonai, am your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and venerate my sanctuary, mine, Adonai's. Verse 